All right, so we're gonna get into a little bit of rigging and an easy way to start this is to uh, practice with uh, a creation that is not yours, um, but one that has been formed with the purpose of rigging in mind. And so here we used uh, Autodesk Character Generator and you can see I have a few that I've already formed here. Um, and I've also taken some of those and generated them into fully rigged characters. Um, but for right now, let's go ahead and get started with some of the basics. Um, first, you have to go to Autodesk Character Generator. You'd sign in, use your student um, ID, your Round Rock ISD um, ID, and your, um, your password. Everyone should have one already set up um, with Autodesk, so there shouldn't be any problems there. And you'll pull up a screen like this, obviously without these already correct uh, created. So. To get started, I'm going to go to New, and you have basically some generic forms here ready to go. And so these guys are ready to be customized however you want. Um, and so I'm going to start with this guy here and customize them. Now something to notice is that there's other forms up here, but you see the little swirly symbols here? That means those are um, extra, basically they're premium. Um, and you have to purchase um, these different body types. So I'm going to stick with the standard um, and customize that. And so I got the standard head here, and you'll see that here's his face, um, Stefan here. Um, but what's interesting is that I can create combinations of what this guy could look like. So he's got um, a pretty generic head there, but what if I took something a little bit more defined like Gilbert here and dragged it into this section. So now I have an option here where I can slide the head shape. You see how that changes. So I'm in the head shape right here. So it's more like Gilbert, more like Stefan or Steven, and then you can adjust as you need to. Um, so maybe somewhere like in between would be interesting. Then I can go down to the eyes, and the same thing applies. Which eyes do I prefer? Maybe I want some crazy eyes, like Gilbert's got some crazy things happening there, so I'll do that. Um, go down to the ears, and so on. So you can kind of customize this how you need to. Um, mouth, chin, nose and you just kind of find what you're looking for you just decide how you want to do it so i'm kind of like all over the place I kind of pick and choose so every character is going to end up looking very different um then go to the skin type here and so you have all sorts of weird skins i can make this guy look like a zombie you know um it's kind of cool I always like this one. Um, and then get into the eyes, and you can choose eye colors. Like something creepy and gray. It's kind of cool. I like that. Um, hair. Um, some of these you'll see that has variations. And so you'll see this is in use, just bald. Or you can get creative with some uh, variations of hair here. Or if you had like a pink mohawk, be kind of cool. Uh, whatever. Um, and so choose what you want, kind of cyborg looking here. Um, and then there's also female. So, you know, if you're a male, but you want long hair, then you can look over here on the female side, depending, you know, it makes a match however you want to. It doesn't really matter. Um, body type here. Um, I'm going to stay away from those top ones. Um, let's choose Biff. That's a funny name. And let's choose... Ooh, that's kind of creepy, Mr. Bones. Um, Lawrence is kind of creepy too. Um, I'm not going to get into a whole lot of this, but you can also go through and change the body type. You see how you can kind of alter what's there in the middle. So I'm going to stick with this and keep everything the same. But you can um, take a look here and you can spin your character around and get an idea of what they look like from different angles. So turn it around really slow though, because um, it's not really generated all the way yet. 
Um, so go through here, check out what you want. Then you also get some clothes. You dress them up in female clothes. That'd be kind of funny. But I'm going to stick with something like this. Now I'm on the shirt with the clothes. And I got shorts here or pants. Uh, whichever. That's interesting. I don't remember that option before. But there's some military stuff happening there. And how about some boots? And pretty soon, there we go. Got them all done. So this is what he looks like. Let's say I'm all finished here. I've gone through these and customized how I want it. I'm going to go ahead and finish here. And I'm going to say pink zombie. Just to, you know, a little brief description about him. And then OK. And now what's happening here is that it's going to take some time and it's going to generate this. Um, it's not generating it, it's loading it up into your um, your character designs. So it's going to take some time here and then um, let that work its way through. Um, because this is being done in the cloud or on the site, this is something that you can close out of, come back to later, and it will... Um, hopefully have uh, loaded up all the way. But once this is done here, what we'll do is go into generated characters and um, create something in, that we can save for opening in Maya later. So I'm going to pause this right now until this is done. All right, so my character now is showing up here, pink zombie. Here he is. And what I want to do now is take a look. I'm going to edit, see what uh, I need to make some changes. I can go, always go back and do that. I'm going to cancel that and go back into the uh, character generator. Um, so now, let's see. I'm going to go into, let's say I'm happy with the way he looks. Everything looks good. I'm now going to click on generate character. And this pops up and I can give him a... a set height um 178 is going to be a really big tall character um uh, i'm going to leave that alone because it doesn't really matter for what we're going to do with this uh, poly resolutions look it's already like default is for a charged one so i'm going to put it on low so we'll go low poly on this we're going to keep it at quads i want it that maya file so I'll make sure that that is checked um, textures, I'm going to show clothes, specular map, and normal map. Um, facial expressions are just going to be none, so I'm not going to deal with a facial bone rigging. Um, sculpture resolution, I'm going to keep as medium. Character orientation, Y up. That's the orientation of Maya, so I'm going to keep it as that. I'm going to click on generate. Um, and so now it's going to take some minutes to do this. So. Um, it's not like you can just immediately load it into Maya. You have to um, create all these settings so it knows what exactly, what assets to open up into Maya. So this is going to take some more time. Um, like I said, several minutes and that little warning that popped up. So again, this is something that you can do. You can generate it, close it down, do something else, come back to it. And um, I'm going to pause this and then we'll get it once it starts, when it actually has generated this character. So here we go. I'm going to pause. 